Have you ever heard the expression, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God? It's a classic from the Christian Bible. But this got us thinking, how much pressure would it take to force a camel through the eye of a needle if we wanted to process one camel in 24 hours? Well, to answer this ridiculous question and see the difficulty of the task that today's billionaires face, let's do a bit of math. The average camel weighs about 450 kilos, and yes, that is an average taken of all the different kinds of camel. The eye of a needle, on the other hand, is usually about 0.8 by 0.3 millimeters wide. In order for a camel to even begin to fit through that tiny hole, it's going to need to be ground and processed into a fine slurry. Thankfully, meat slurry is actually something that humans have gotten really good at handling, and so we can look at some studies on mechanically separated meat that is used in the food industry. Mechanically separated meat, horrifying as it sounds, really just means the sort of paste you'd use to make sausages, hot dogs, or chicken nuggets. A chunk of meat, sometimes with a bone left in, is ground up and then forced through a fine sieve under pressure to remove chunks and then leaves a smooth paste for making your ballpark hot dogs. The main difference in our case is that instead of packaging the slurry into hot dogs through a large bore into a sausage casing, we want to pass all that meat through one tiny hole. If we assume that a camel has a similar density to a cow and the average camel is 450 kilos, that means we need to pass about 5 grams of camel per second through the hole. Taking into account the average viscosity of mechanically separated meat, which is about 100,000 centipois, as well as the flow rate we want, we could use Poiseuille's law to calculate the required pressure. All told, we need about 64 megapascals, and the jet of camel paste that would be ejected out of the nozzle and going through the needle would be moving at about 5 meters per second, which is about the speed of a brisk jog. For context, the Ocean Gate wreck only experienced about 33 megapascals all the way at the bottom of the ocean near the Titanic. So at least that group of billionaires lacked the pressure to make it in. But for the rest that are taking notes, with a sufficiently large hydraulic ram, a billionaire needs only to spend about 5.5 megajoules of energy to convert themselves into a more godly form.